Hi guys. Um, welcome to Time Stand Still here at Florida Rep. So I'm the director and uh, with the help of some fantastically talented artists, we have created a Williamsburg loft in New York City, just outside of Manhattan. Donald Margulies wrote the play, and whenever you read Donald Margulies' plays, they're very, they're not kitchen sink drama, but there's always a kitchen sink in them. So the kitchen had to be part of the environment, so it was the trickiest part of the design. So the audience is on all four sides of us, so there was nowhere to really hide the kitchen, so we built it this way and raised the seats so that people could sit in there and look over the shelves, which is really kind of exciting. And so when the audience comes, we'll be, you know, making water, drinks, pouring, making coffee, making drinks, cleaning glasses, right before the very eyes. I mean, literally, right here. You joined the army? Uh, no, no, as a reporter. There I was, this stupid cocky kid with no idea what the hell I was doing. And um, then, then they, they do a lot of work at their table. They also have their computers down here, and they eat here, and they work here. And it's a very utilitarian space for them because they're both very busy people. So, In order to experience catharsis, they have to be able to feel something, right? Yeah. But if you're desensitized, you're numb, right? Isn't that what you're saying? This is the first act of television. But the first act television isn't functional, so it only looks like it's being plugged in, it's just kind of stuck underneath there. But in the second act, they buy a new television set, and so we actually watch a couple of movies during the, the run of the play, which is really cool, and uh, you'll recognize them. The floor goes all the way out to underneath the audience's feet. So when you walk into the theater, you get this great sensation of walking into the loft, which makes this whole space an environment that makes everybody feel like they're part of the action. I guess what's exciting and extraordinary about this space is that we don't try to uh, separate the audience from the play. And in this production specifically, you know, it, there's such a feeling that you're right there in the living room with all of these people, with all of this going on, that you actually become a part of the story. It's as if you're almost at a cocktail party and you're watching what's transpiring around the room. What was, a what was the challenge is that we needed to make it as specific as possible in their daily living. We had to make it as real as we could. Um, so that was a, that was one of our challenges, you know, with the prop master. It would constantly list what do we need. Oh, we need this. We need that. Um, and then when we get to scene changes, it's like, oh, two glasses actually become I need actually eight glasses, or I need actually three coffee mugs, but I actually need six coffee mugs because we don't want to reset and run around. So the scene change after the intermission scene is, is what we call uh, the Armageddon scene change. And uh, our stage manager, Janine, she gets on headset and says, prepare for Armageddon. Literally, before we start. And we need to. Um, we need to prepare. <laughs> yeah. I, I do push-ups backstage. It is the crappiest scene change of all scene changes, any scene change. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. Anything can happen. There's cups every, in different places and, and, and... Bombs go off. Bombs go off and everywhere and it explodes. It's like, it's like a wedding exploded. Six if I'm lucky. So don't tell me that 
I sold you out? Who are you really, my friend? Or just another suit? I got a can't let it get to me. If I let it get to me, how could I do my job? I couldn't. You know, I'd, I'd want to take away the guns, rescue all the children, but I can't. That's not why I'm there. I'm there to take pictures. It's our turn now. Let's stop running. Check my blood pressure backstage before we go because my heart's like pounding in my chest. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. It's not healthy. You know, actors say they're nervous before they go on. Oh my god! But uh, I think they can improv. We can't improv missing things mm -mm. and, uh, and mm -mm. a scene change. So mm -mm. we'll just get yelled at later. <laughs> <laughs> it's not fun. It's not. I hate it. I'm quit.